Hi, I'm Johnny Knoxville and welcome to How To Fix A U-Boat Ass. Hi guys, Kyle here again and it's time for us to talk about asbestos. No, I don't mean the flower class corvette which hunted U-boats in the Atlantic. We're talking about the former wonder material which we now know causes severe health issues. Let me hand you over to someone more knowledgeable. So I'm Phil Carey, I'm uh, Managing Director of Fibersafe and we're a Birkenhead based asbestos consultancy who are helping out with the project. So we know when uh, the vessel was created originally there would have been asbestos containing materials on board. Um, obviously it was sunk and then brought to the surface and we know from a third party survey that there was uh, asbestos containing materials still on board. The problem we've got is that it was chopped into four sections and brought here to Woodside and we've got no data on what happened to those asbestos materials when it was chopped up. Uh, we, we can see where it's been sliced through basically inside. So we've got to presume that the, the actual vessel is contaminated. So we're doing a full clean on it. So give it to us straight, doctor. How bad is it? Yeah, you've got textiles, you've got pipe lagging, you've got flash pads in the electrics. It's, it's literally everywhere to be fair. Now that may sound scary, but asbestos is not as difficult to control as you might think. Asbestos is generally harmless when it's contained within a material, but as soon as anything breaks it or pierces it, the fibres can get loose and that's when they get into your lungs and you're going to have a bad time. The thing is, our boat definitely has been broken and pierced and bombed and submerged for half a century and sliced into pieces. Jeez, how do you deal with that much damage? Some of the asbestos containing materials will be encapsulated with specialist paint. Some might be removed if they're damaged, um, but there's no reason why you've got to re remove them all. As long as you've got materials that are in good condition, we can pretty much leave them in there, label them up, and it'll be a safe environment. So there you have it. With our asbestos-tastic new friends from Fibersafe working on the boat, soon we'll be able to walk on board without those awkward blue suits. See you next time. <sighs> Fun times.